Okay, hey there. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a calendar in Word. And as we go about learning how to do this, we'll learn many skills about how to use Word for things that are uh, for things that are in Word that are not calendars. But we will build something like this, although you will do your own with your own theme. Obviously, if you're doing something in July, uh, this theme would look rather ridiculous, but you can choose what to do and let's get started. So I am in this one right here. And if I go up to my file menu and I just go to new blank document, this will come up. And sometimes, especially if you have not been in the print layout, you might have something that looks a little different than this. And what you wanna do is go up here and if you're in something else other than print layout, it will go like that. And you can see right away that this looks, this white paper, the way that it's oriented is different than this right here. This is wider and this is longer. And what we have to do to change that is we have to change the layout. So if you go here to this little tab called layout, we go to orientation, there's two ways of doing it. There's portrait, which is the long way up and down and landscape, which is the, uh, which is the short one up and down and longer side to side. I've got a portrait is like that and a landscape is like that. I'm just going to switch it to landscape. And now we have this. And anytime I am on my tabs and I want to get back to sort of my main area, I can just click on the little home. And this is where I was before. And how I am going to make this little part right here is we are going to make a table. And all we have, oops, I don't want to be in Chrome. Back in there. And to make a table, we're just going to go to tables. And if we go to new right here, we can pick what we want. And we want it seven wide so that we have seven days in the week. And we want six deep, one for the naming of the days and the five for the other five weeks in the month. And if we click on that, we just get it perfectly like that. And that is going to be to short for our purposes but what we can do if we just go into the corner here we can make it longer like that boom and make it like that. cool and up here i'm going to put the days and the if you look here the days are shorter or the naming of the days are shorter than like the actual days. And how we can do that is, uh, I gotta get rid of this. This will make it easier. Is just go to this little area right here. You can see the arrow up and the arrow down and the two little bars and just drag it up like that. And that will make that one nice and short so that we can just type the days. I'm gonna type Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the week doesn't start with Monday, does it? Let's do Sunday. Oops, I always forget that. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, so we have all of this, but this is kind of bland and boring, and I don't really like it like that. So if I go up here to highlight it, I could change everything I want about it. The first thing I could change is the shading. If I don't like the inside being white, like here, you know, it's that purpley color, I can go to shading, press down, and I can pick any of these colors, or I can go into more colors like that and I could pick whatever one I want and a good one for January let's have it be that color cool and I could the text I don't really like too much so I want to figure out how I could change it if I go back home and this controls sort of the styling of the text I could change the font I could change the size of it these two make the font go up or the size of the font go up this makes the font size go down um, does that do? Oh, it clears any kind of formatting there. So if you have done something and want to get rid of it, you just clear that and make it go away. These are for the text effects, kind of the fancy ones. Uh, we could do that later for the title. This is the text highlighting. This is the color. 
This makes it go down. This makes it go up. And we have bold, italic, underline, and strike through. So I am first going to change the color. And since this is kind of a dark color, I want a light color to go over it. So I'm just going to change it to white. And you can see that that looks better already. And we also have the left align, center align, right align. And I am going to make that go center align. If you were to do right align, be like that. Justify would, we need multiple words for justify to work. Left align is like that. Uh, I'm going to keep it at center. I think that looks good. Maybe like that. And now I'm going to go change the font. So if I go up here, it always takes a little while to load for me. Here we go. And I just pick a font, any font that I like. How about that? That looks pretty cool. Awesome. And we have the, I'm going to make that a little bit shorter. There we go. And we kind of have the foundation of our calendar. So now that we have that, I am going to number them. And if you see here, we have just all these different numbers right here. And I need, I did not do it accurately this time. I know the 31st, I'm going to do this backwards because I know the 31st was a Saturday, which is my birthday. So I have 31, 30, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, so countdown, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we don't have 0. Okay. Um, so we have these right here. The New Year's was on the 1st, and New Year's Eve was on that Wednesday right there. And if we want to add a holiday, all we have to do is just go down. And I will put this in italics, and I will call this New Year's Day. And what other how We had Martin Luther King Day, which was... Let's... The third Monday of January and our nice calendar. One, two, three, the twenty-first. We'll do the same thing. Oops, why did that not stay? Oh, whoops, that's that's the wrong one. One, two, three, right there. And Martin Luther King Day. Cool. Okay, and my birthday. Cool. So now that we have all of these days, and again, if you wanted to change the style of the text, just highlight everything. And you can do the same thing just like you did here. If you wanted to change it to that, it will switch the style if you wanted to change the color or if you wanted to change the shading like if you want to do a slightly like a gray or looks, looks pretty cool oops like that yep, we could do do it like that it's, actually i'm gonna keep it there we go because we're going to have a background here. So now that I have that, I want to get the part where it says January 2015 up here. And oops. to do that, we need to use a shape. So if you go back here to home, you can insert several things right here. You can insert a text box, which we'll do later. You can insert a shape or you can insert a picture and we will do all three of those things today. So I'm going to insert a shape 
and I am going to make mine just a normal rectangle. And if I drag it like this, boom, I have that right there. Cool. And I'm gonna wanna change the color on that. So again, anytime I wanna change the styling on something, this little purple thing, if you click off it, it won't be there. But if you click on it, it will pop up like that. I go there and I just pick the one that I want. So here I'll go to fill and what color did I have for that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just like I did before. And now that I have that, I, or wait, before we, there are some other things you want to do, like say you wanted to put a shadow or a glow or a bevel or a 3D rotation might be a bit much for that, but maybe just like a simple shadow. If you go like that, you can see the little shadow that comes off it and now it has a nice little 3D effect. You could also change the, uh, change the transparency. You can kind of see through it now. Uh, there's a, just play around with that. There's several different ways you can do this. And now that I have this, I want to put a text box in there and I'm just going to highlight that. And we'll go inside of there. And I'm gonna call this January. January, 2015. And that does not look very good. Why is that black thing there? Hmm. Oh, you could do it like that. I like doing, the, I like doing everything manually if I can. I don't know why the black things are there. Okay, so I am, now that I have that, I obviously want to change that uh, that lettering, so I'm going to highlight it again. Her. And go back to home, and just like before, I could switch it to white. I could change the size of it, so let's put that up to 48. And if that happens, you can just make your text box bigger to take it all and make it wider to fit the 15. Have that, perfect, that looks, that looks good. Let me just think I'm gonna change the font too. And how about that? Oops, I now had everything. Let's try that. Yeah, cool. I like that. And you could also use these text effects that kind of like before where we had the shadow and the um, and the reflection and the glow for our text box. We could do the same thing with our text, or we could pick one that already exists. So if you like that, you can switch it to that. I'm gonna keep it normal though, but feel free to play around with those. Uh, that would be mainly for the title. Like for this stuff, it would probably be a bit much and you really don't wanna do that. Okay, so we have all of these things here. And now that I have that, I wanna get the picture that I had before. And since January is a cold, blustery, wintry month, and I like to ski, I'm going to have a person skiing. I'm gonna to go to images, and you wanna do one that kind of fits the shape so it doesn't get too stretched out. And I will pick, you also kinda of want a bigger one, so yeah, that's 620 by 388, that's a little small. That's a little small too. If you just hover over it, you could, yeah, that looks cool. Go. I have this little hover that should be working. There we go. Okay, on Chrome, you can drag it into your desktop. Um, on Firefox, I believe that's, that does not work and you have to control click and save image as. So either one of these will work. I'm just going to drag it into there. And now I go back to my calendar and insert. We inserted a text box, we inserted a shape, and now we are going to insert a picture. And we want to get the picture from the file. I'm gonna go here, I saved it onto my desktop and it is this one right here. And bleh, wow, my, wow, what the, what happened there? That looks terrible. Uh, the reason that that happened is Word formats the picture unless we tell it to do it in another way. So we definitely want to do that. We want to, We don't want it like this. 
So if we go up here to wrap text, I want to have this behind the text, but if you want to do something different, like you don't have to have this picture on, or this picture as your background, but if you want to do that, that's what I'm going to do. And if I just have it go behind the text, you can now see that it is behind the text. And I am going to stretch it to make the, to get it to be the whole page. I need to zoom out a little. This little thing down here zooms in and out. And it's not gonna quite fit. So I'm gonna need to stretch it a little. If I go there, it'll stretch up. Cool. All right, stretch it wide like that. The ones in the bottom corner make it, uh, make it go bigger. The ones over here make it go wider or skinnier. And the ones on the bottom make it go taller or shorter. Zoom back in. And I didn't have any kind of any kind of background to these before, but I am gonna need that. So I'm gonna click on here and I am going to go to table and just shading is yeah, shading's gonna be white. Boom, just like that. Okay. Another thing you might want to do is if you go if you click on that and go to format you can change the transparency of it which see so we can kind of see through it at that point which i think looks pretty cool now yeah it's, that's up to you that's a style decision on your own okay and i'm going to put one more picture on it i'm going to put the snowman so if i search snowman Click on this guy. You can see that, see this little checkered background? That means that it's a transparent background. And so if I put him onto my PowerPoint, or not my PowerPoint, my uh, my calendar, everything that you see in this checkered, like it will, you'll be able to see through it. It will be, it will be transparent. Not all pictures are like that. If you were to click on this, uh, that one's transparent too. This is that one. All right, so this one is just white. If you were to put this onto the calendar, you would see that white background too. So you need to think about what you are doing, okay? And if you want a transparent background, then just you could search transparent or you could try to find it on your own. But I would do the same thing to drag it over there. I already have it saved on my desktop, so I'm not gonna do that. But just like you did the other image, you can do this one too. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back home and I am going to picture, insert picture, picture from file on the desktop and what was the name of this one? Snowman.png and I ah, messed up again. And it's the same reason that that happened before. So I'm gonna to go to wrap text, but this time instead of being behind the text, it's going to be in front of the text. And that's too big, but I'm just gonna drag him up here. And I'm going to put them right up here. Make them still smaller. Cool. And there you have it. You can make any kind of changes to that you want, but that is the basic setup for our calendar. So good job finishing this and have a good one. Take care.